This is Neot David, used to be called St. John's Hospice. Probably the most significant building inside the old city today. It's inside of the old Jewish quarter, today's Christian quarter. The most significant being it's one of the largest properties. It used to be owned by the Greek Orthodox Church. Today, 10 Jewish families and a yeshiva. Ben Chomot Yerushalayim. There is pulsating Jewish life. There's Torah being taught here. A unique building. It was actually also the building that Yasser Arafat actually wanted as his... Uh, foothold of the old city. I don't need to remind the Jewish world or the world at large what the old city would look like if this was to be today in the hands of the Palestinian Authority or Hamas or anyone of that, that nature. But today it is a rather unique building. There are a number of projects that need to be done here. I'd like you to take you in to have a look at this phenomenal building, Na'od David, and to see what you can do to make it an even greater building. Come. Inside Neot David, this is a hall that has potential to be a base medrash, um, a chadar ochel, a dining room for the yeshiva. There is a yeshiva here with 75 or 80 boys, ben chomot Yerushalayim, between the walls of Jerusalem. We are between the walls of Jerusalem and there's now, once again, Torah learning in this area. There is a project, a massive project, to take on someone serious, to build a base medrash here. There are 10 families. We can add three more families here. That takes people who want to be involved in adding Jewish life. There is a tremendous amount of work that must be done in Neot David so that these 10 families and hopefully more can live in a secure building. This building is of strategic importance in the old city. You can see uh, the, the floors are cracked. There are three main corridors in this building in Neot David to this direction, this direction, and to the left and there are apartments throughout these corridors. Uh, the walls have to be fixed, the floors have to be fixed. The corridor over here where the windows are, there's grating that has to be rewired. This building is in really bad shape and they could even add more families if we had the money to create some additional apartments. The space exists. We just need the funds to make livable apartments out of the space. We've also, of course, got a, a magnificent sports facility where there's 70 children, 10 families, 70 children play in a beautiful sports hall that was dedicated by the Chano family. Um, at the moment, temporarily, it is a base medrash for the yeshiva Ben Chomot Yerushalayim and very shortly the children will be going back there. God willing, there's a lot that can be done here with your input. You've seen projects in the yeshiva adopt a family, security projects, and children's projects. To make all this happen, it requires input from Jews around the world. Call us, speak to Shani Haikens in the office in New York, do whatever you can to spread the word of Yerushalayim, of Jerusalem. If it's going to stay in the hands of the Jewish people, it requires input, the heart of Jews from around the world, maybe putting their hands in the pocket also, but looking after the pioneers here at the forefront, in and around the old city of Yerushalayim. From here, Neot David, I hope to be able to film here in a few years' time, maybe even less, from inside the base Medrash, maybe with a hundred boys studying Torah. But that depends on you.